we've been talking about strong acids and strong bases and weak acids and weak bases. So now what we actually want to do is be able to identify those individual compounds as whether acid or base or strong or weak. For me personally, it's easier if I look at everything I need to look at first and go through and identify whether it's an acid or a base. So this one starts with an H, so we automatically know that this is an acid. C also starts with an H, so we automatically know that it is an acid. Well, this thing, you're not really sure, right? But it's got that N in it, so it's most likely a base. And then D contains an OH, so we automatically know that's also a base. Now, how do you tell if it's strong or weak? Remember when we talked about monoprotic, diprotic acids and we compared oxygen with hydrogen? That's how you're going to tell for an acid. So this first one, it's a monoprotic, so we know that it is a weak acid. We come down here, we've got H2, that's a diprotic acid. And when we subtract our oxygen and our hydrogen, we still have two. So we know that this is a strong acid. Now remember on our bases, I gave you a Tetris looking piece that told you what the strong bases were. And this barium one is included in that. This one is not included in a group 1A or 2A, so we know that this is a weak base. So for me, that's the easiest way to do these. Do one thing at a time. Do all your acids and bases, come back, do all of your strong and weak.